Wrong side. Jumping sides here. Oof. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for the break. Everybody else stretched out. Limbered up. Fed. We're, we're in a flashback. We're in a flashback. Thimbleberry pie was made Ricky by, what's Lee's her name? Ricky Lee. Thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. This must be where pies go when they die. She doesn't make pies anymore. Now she sells vacuum tubes. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. Didn't I know how to touch them properly? It's a bottle and... of homemade printer ribbon ink, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a defunct robot prototype. Why is it still turned on? It's a whip made out of network cables. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, in. produced by Get Digital. I guess Uncle Chuck was an impatient Chosen. system admin back in the day. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally That's suck. That's her line. That last line. That's her line. Chosen Undead hosting. Thank you for the host. Welcome, Chosen. Hey. Thank you, thank you. You're getting here with Chosen Undead. Seems like year, the mail Jay. should have arrived by now. Yeah, you know, maybe we should get the mail. What do you think? I don't want to talk to Uncle Chuck. I want to check everything out. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. True enough, Cat 5 was not a thing. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. And, um... Ah, uh, brrrah, what is it? Is Cat 3 two pair? That, uh... Boy, I'm rusty. Anyways, what's the actual date on something like Cat 3? It's a TX1138 tube. Of course, in of course it is. Condition. Seems like the he's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. It's a bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink, and it smells awful. More than one. Warning, contents, high. This bottle has ink in it too. I already found a full ink bottle. Why not take two? Should we turn out the light? Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Got three unshielded twisted pair. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. I should I check first. the mailbox for my computer oh, magazine. Oh, whole bundle. Not a thing back then either. Not playing with cabling in the 80s. Closest I got to computer hardware in the 80s was the uh, built in floppy drive on a Atari 1040 ST that I had. It had an internal drive and I had an external drive. And the internal, this, this is my child logic was that the internal drive had failed. I should be able to take the drive. I, I basically disassembled the enclosure for the external and tried to swap the external into the into the Atari. It didn't work. The first computer hardware I ever disassembled, tried to reassemble. To, what year would it have been? It was before we moved from New York. So I would have been less than 12. Not as if I had any instructions, I was just, just made sense.
Looks good enough for a snack. You sure? They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. Walked a can of non-trademark infringing. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here? This. Oh, we're not done. Cancel. What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Broken bottles of ketchup. There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing inside except an empty glass. <laughs> Somehow that works. Take it, take it, take it. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. The fireplace looks very clean. Get back to, uh, room. Index trial. I should check oh, the mailbox shit. for my computer magazine. <gasps> this is depressing. They made a lot of books. Oh my god. They made a lot of books. They made a lot of books. True secret of Monkey Island in there. I made the Mounties up. I married a ferret. Letters from myself. Ramblings consolidated. How to tame a zombie. Feisty, heisty hellions. Disappearing donuts. The blue thimbleweed. Most of the books in the library were written by our backers and supporters. They assume all responsibility for their content. Wow! <laughs> Carefully measure the clearance between end washers using a feeler gauge. Do-it-yourself maintenance. I love Leskin. Uh, wait. A message from the future. Who speaks binary? Come on. I need somebody who speaks binary here. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Gasoline and French toast. Adraj Namolo. Saw the glistening eyes of a skin switcher through the diner window. Glass steamed up with condensation before I could get a good look at his scales. In the snapshot moment, his alabaster canines were pushing through a meek-looking slice of French toast. He used to call it Poor Knights of Windsor back in Newcastle. Those were simpler times. You'd call it a shame that the rest of these milk toast septics couldn't spot it from a mile away. But they aren't trained by the finest reptile technicians the British government has to offer. I moved slow, pushing my body into the shadow of a petrol tanker. That sweet smell of gasoline hit my nostrils and the euphoria of my youth came rushing back to me. I'm off the juice now, but whenever I get close to one of those babies, my mind goes to Shangri-La. Big mistake. I can only hear the back end of a hissing sound before my skull hits the deck and I'm unconscious. I woke up in a matted den miles away from civilization, my trusty duster wet with pungent goo. The boys back at the station would sure as hell get a kick out of this. She did, she had an ASCII chart on her wall. Um, I don't think, can we take a particular book? Let's pick up, there's a message from the future. I shouldn't take this out of the library. Maybe we could take the ASCII chart. Let's go back to message from the future. 
you'll figure it out. Take a screen cap, all right? Here, I'm gonna bring it up. If anybody wants to, go ahead and take a screen cap. Get a few more seconds here. Have a screenshot. That's binary. Yes, and if you speak binary, we'd like you to translate it. She has a chart in her room, uh, I think, for translating binary to, to ASCII, is what the chart was. Grim Reaper. Seems like the mail should have arrived yeah, by yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. mail should have arrived by now. Hold on, there's is there one particular book. Why was one book marked here? Programming the SR1. SR01. Maybe she does need something like that. By Chuck. Security robot. That prototype robot upstairs. The SR01 security robot is the most aggressive and secure robot for sentry and protection duties. It can guard anything from simple rooms to large factories with the complete confidence of a Pillowtron 2. Advanced forward, backward, and side facing radar provide complete coverage of the surrounding area. The SR-01 has been custom programmed to ignore the three laws of robotics and is extremely dangerous if used incorrectly. It is advised that a complete course in SR-01 certification is obtained before attempt attempting maintenance. The easy access remote jumper programming box can be used to customize the type of guard duty you may require. You require. Any mode from passive monitoring, scheduled deterrence to seek and destroy is available. Every two to three weeks, the robots should be shut down for maintenance by jumpering the red jumper at B34, the green jumper at C56, and the blue jumper at D56. Anyone writing this down? Maintenance should only be performed by a qualified and certified tech. By reading this manual, you waive any right to sue Pillowtronics for death or dismemberment. Interesting. Not sure what to do with this, but it might come in handy. It is actually um, a pretty new game. came out this year, and it is not yet out on consoles, but coming to consoles soon. Up. Oh. Poems for the weary. So many books, it's hard to know for sure. Is this the one we were supposed to get? Ears ringing like electric bells stops me from finding slumber. Demonic singing, living hell. Can't saw logs without lumber. Um, so seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Get on. We better get the mail. She's gonna make me crazy if we don't get the mail. Chuck is such a bully. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. He was talking about his brother Chuck. This is Chuck the plant. Different Chuck. Oh, I mean, a telephone we could use. We've, we've got some numbers. Forgot to check the phone book <laughs> for Sarah Connor. Um, Lynn? I know I have a good idea. The phone book. And it's um, organized by first name. Don't see any Sarah Connors. Missed opportunity. Safely first bank stands out. 7331. Why would we call the bank? Why is my phone's being spammed? Got three calls from the same number in a row. Um, got some nasty auto dialers. People are using Northern Colorado recently. 7331. Why are we calling the bank? I don't know. Safely first savings. This is Mr. El Palo. I'm away right now. Please call back later. Looks fine to me. Looks fine to me. I should stick up for myself. It says out of order. See, the sign says it's out of order. What? The sign says it's out of order. <clears throat> Try 
trying to get back to her room because we have that printer ink now. Should really go check the mailbox. She won't shut up about that, so why am I doing anything that isn't going to the mailbox? That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Message coming in. Patch it this is a great program, but I don't have time to use it right now. Reaper! Thank you for the host. Uh, try calling 4468. Kind of see what happens. It's from a flyer you found a while back. From the future? Yeah, let's do it. Can we take the chart, by the way? I don't want to pick that up. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. That's that. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. All right, I bet you we get code in her magazine or something. Her computer magazine, I bet we get a little code sample, something she can use. There's a book on programming, security robot, Hero One. Did I not take the book? I didn't take the book, did I? Maybe we'll get it on the way back. I'm really tired of hearing about her magazine. Let's go get the, let's get it. We need the magazine. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. <laughs> Does it go down to a laboratory? This clock looks vaguely familiar. It's very dry firewood. And the ink is very flammable. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Oh, we're trying. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. Even the mailbox has a vacuum tube. It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. I don't want that. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Okay, let's try it. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed uh, Park easier. Right. That was on if all you're the ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. Mm. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? Hmm. Cool. Thank you. Work. Goodbye. Bum book. Anything stands out in the um, color like the bank? Brant Balowick, JD. Anybody catch that name anywhere yet? Turn up somewhere? There's one more. Intron line was in the phone book, 4468. What? Someone at the door. K Scum Radio 7286. I don't want to answer the door. Thank you for calling KSCUM. This is a recording. We're not taking requests now. Tune in at 198.7 for up-to-the-minute hostile takeover information. Damn it, 
That doorbell's gonna ring until we answer it, isn't it? Pigeon Brothers, 1487. Hi, human. Hello, <laughs> you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so the we'll only come out for paranormal-related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Oh no, the doorbell's going nuts! <laughs> They're not leaving. <laughs> we already called the bank. Stop ringing! Oh my god, if someone did that at my house. <laughs> I think I would open the window above the door and pour like hot doorbell. oil on whoever was there. Let them keep ringing. It'll take a few minutes to heat the oil. That sounds like the doorbell. Gee, you think? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, <laughs> but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, back to my vitally important government job. <clears throat> it's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Must steam it open. What was the room down here? Kitchen. We'll need to use the microwave, sinks, water, something. I don't know what we're going to do to steam it open. Can we, um... Totally. Okay, we're getting there. It's an empty glass. The glass is now filled with water. Oh, yeah. Some of them left a message. Awesome. Probably turn the water off. First thing he tries after being worn, tries to open mail. I mean, yeah, there you go. Can't take that long. Hey, Chucky baby, what the beep is holding up the toy licensing contract? Your brother Franklin said this was a done deal, so I thought I'd write to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge and make ransom dolls. And making ransom dolls will be like printing beeping money. Beep off, ransom. Beep off, ransom. But basically, you can call everyone in the phone book. It's kind of tempting to play around with that. At least call a few. Maybe we should show Franklin. Can we still open this? Too late? Okay. Terrible argument. I'd better hold on to this. Guess not. Call the last person in the book. Seven, four, six. Hi. Welcome to my voicemail. Leave a message. Okay, so how do I start it now? Which button? Ah, uh, so I'll press this button. <laughs> Go!
Oh, check. <laughs> I know what we're doing for the next two streams. This is the voicemail of Captain Smith. He's unable to uh, come to the phone because he's a little bit young. But, uh, oh, oh, hang on, I've got to go. Zach's in the back here again. Uh, leave a message and he'll get back to you in a few years or so. <laughs> Unexpected. <clears throat> and stop! Sir Daniel Silverborn, E726. Hey, you have reached Sir Daniel. If you know the answer to the following question, how much wood would a woodchuck shuck if a woodchuck could shuck wood? Please feel free to leave a message at the beep. Yeah. That's brilliant. Survey says stop. Okay, there was none there. Twin tax game. No, we gotta call both of these. Six eight four four seven nine four eight. You have called Quintex Games. Sorry we can't answer your call at the moment as we were only born a couple of years ago and aren't old enough to answer the phone. <laughs> Please call back in 28 years. When the internet gets invented, you can check out our Facebook page at <laughs> www.facebook.com forward slash back to the mansion. They did the remake. Awesome. Didn't recognize the name right away. Um, lost the other number anyways. Quantum Potato 7948. Hi, thanks for calling Quantum Potato. I'm not collecting a million marbles. Check out the pyramid I'm building at www.amillionmarbles.com. Whoops, there goes one now. Uh, is there an Aaron Hansen? We can definitely check. Lamia said they were people who uh, contributed to the game's creation. Is there an Aaron Hansen? This is so cool. Yes, there is not. Not not with that spelling. Oh, look at that name. Rihanna Frida Sophia Gebhardt. Three six three three. Sure, I'll check. Du bist hier gerade auf dem Telefon von Ariane gelandet. Ich bin allerdings gerade wahrscheinlich auf dem Klo oder anderweitig beschäftigt. Also hinterlass mir doch einfach eine Nachricht. Das wäre mega. Translation, please. Hey there, Sanabania. <laughs> All right, we're looking for uh, a possible Eric range. It does not appear so. About Essen and Hamdi Mortan, six one three two. You cannot reach us right now because we're not born yet. Please call us at a later time. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Sorry, Dolores had to witness that. Everybody says stop. Damn, blank page. <clears throat> and here. 
John Allen Davidson. Hello, this is John Allen Davidson. I'm not here. Looks like I've gone to the rapture. Leave a message. All right. Any others you want to look for real quick? And stop. Man comb seep good. Three, four, two, five. Hello, this is the answering parrot of Carline Mancombe. Till we call back, please think about this. It's not the case that the soul sentence is true and that my pants are not fancy. This is the second biggest bewilderment I've ever felt. Sorry, dear caller, this was Carla. Bye then. <laughs> Ryan, check this out. They have a phone book for people who contributed to the game. And people were able to leave their own messages. Like, let's check Nemo Pole. Four nine seven zero. You can call hundreds or thousands of, of numbers. Ich bin's Nemo. Glückwunsch. Ihr habt mich gefunden. Ihr Clownfische können immer einen guten Witz gebrauchen, aber ihr könnt mir auch einfach eine Nachricht hinterlassen. We get a translation on the last one. Was that that she's probably at the toilet? Was that the last German one? I'll, I'll try. I'll try. 69, dude. Nope. Pedro. Pedro M. Nanez Morera. 1115. Hola, en este momento no puedo atenderte porque he escuchado que hay un asesino suelto en el pueblo, así que he decidido huir porque soy un cobardonazo. Deja tu mensaje después de la señal y ya te contestaré cuando vuelva. My Spanish is muy mal. And I did not follow. So, anybody get that? Hey, Psycho, what's up? Hey, Ben. All right, a couple more. I, this is fun. What about a couple more? They check them off as you do them. Mm, Rex Mitchell, 2108. Sorry, but I can't answer right now. We have to leave our phones outside the lab after last year's incident. The scorch marks remain visible and my supervisor's eyebrows still haven't <laughs> come back. Please leave your message. He said, you found Nemo. Clownfish always wants some jokes, but you can leave a normal message too. I bet y'all drinking that wine too, aren't you? You're smoking them tweeds and everything. Wearing the old clothes all half off your ass. What the hell's going on today? Crash, that happened to you too? So it was happening to me. Someone kept calling my phone and not leaving a message. Arr! Welcome, Crash. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Is there channel. a mickle? Yeah! Crash, thank you! Yes! Is there a mickle in there? We'll check. We can check for a mickle. Crash, man. Thank you for your sub. Your super long, super awesome, kick ass sub. Thank you for your support, man. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Psycho. Hope you're doing well. Mickle. Is there a Mickle in there? No. They got a few Miguels. Oh, not what you're looking for. How about um, Miguel Ross? Three zero two eight. Crash, I know a lot of people's <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> a lot of people's numbers aren't aren't quite spot on. Try and be fluid. I try and I should be stick fluid. up for myself. You should, Franklin, you should. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Hey, there's a wombat in here. We we gotta check out a wombat. Eight seven seven eight. There you go. Crash. <laughs> Ryan's got a good guess. Hi there. This is a short and rather one-sided conversation. How's our uh, how's our checklist doing? Journal. We got her computer mag. Found Uncle Chuck. We still need to find an ideal job and get the hell out of Thimbleweed Park. And this is just the flashback. It's Bite Me World, the best computer <laughs> magazine Bite ever. Bite Me World. Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mucus Phlegm Games, the makers of hit games like The Three Lines of Haze and Behind Jaggy Lines, is looking for qualified applicants. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucuslet game programmer. How does it say? Mucuslet? Imagine the perks. Long hours, non-diet soda and pizza. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out of date arcade machines in the rec area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect with Mucus Phlegm to apply. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Interesting. Dial in with modem and fill out mucus phlegm job application. Mail filled out job application. We do have ink in the printer now. Get a job at mucus phlegm. Right on, Ryan. We'll see you in a bit. What was the number? Anyone see the number? She must know it in her head. I don't see it here. We can't turn the page. That's up. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game. It's my state of the art con. I'm dialing the Mucus Phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Shit, what is her name? I guess it's all the same, but uh, does it matter? How are we going to present ourselves for our future in game development? Thank you. What is your address? Hmm. Which, the state, the, really the different part. What state are we in? Not in Wyoming, is it? Um, what do we know? at sea level West Virginia Washington it's the Twin Peaksian thing it's got to be Washington noted next what's your programming language of choice the language you are most proficient in is Pascal on her book interesting choice please answer the following <laughs> questions about our proprietary your language Yucas choice programming sucks. language you must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Hey, okay. Rex. First question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm. A little harder. Ah. Debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch. This is going to take some thinking. Got it. Exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. 
Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Wow, that's a pretty cool printer for 1987. So do we give Chuck the letter? Doesn't seem to be on her list of priorities. Mail the job application, get a job, and escape. Didn't say anything about giving the letter to Chuck. Although we do have five days between mailing the letter. Hey, who's Doug? Diggin! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Diggin! <laughs> Diggin! How exciting! I hope I get the job. Five days later, she hasn't given Chuck the letter. <laughs> Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! <laughs> Did you oh. see that? Good luck. See ya. Diggin! <laughs> she was Diggin. the skeleton! <laughs> I think I want to open this in my room, just in case I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Mansion mansion? I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Is that how you deliver mail in the U.S.? They, uh, they, I don't know if you caught that specific joke, but as the mailman came up the very first time, he's like, this is my job, I'm such a good... I, I don't remember his exact words, government servant. He's like, I come all the way out into the middle of nowhere to deliver a magazine. <clears throat> Speaking of German, question... I don't, I don't quite follow Tom alike. Ah, that's the kitchen. We don't need to go in the kitchen. I can't wait. Wants to open that up in her room. We still have the letter for Chuck. Are we going to deliver it? Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman delivered, uh, recently. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. <sighs> Dolores, you'll never know if you got the job if you don't open the letter. Why didn't I think to pick that up before? Cat 509, Tails Whip. Pick the letter now that we gave it to him. Take it anyways. Yeah, apparently we can. Right then. This bottle has ink in it too. I already found a f You already used the ink bottle, so it's not full anymore. I'm gonna take the other one. Pretty dark in here. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. <sighs> Dolores, you'll never know if you got the job if you don't open the letter. 
So, open the letter. It's a letter from. It's a letter from. It's a letter. It's a letter from Mucus Flem. Open okay, the letter. But if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the Pillow Factory. Open the letter. Okay, but if it's a oh, yes, God. what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Fine, go burn the letter. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. <laughs> yes! It's a job offer for Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... He's gonna moonwalk. Just cause. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. She's excited, can you tell? I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, <laughs> what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Uh huh. Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. Don't you get I'm it, Chuck? I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. <laughs> Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. Totally you arbitrary. Are dead to me. Ah. Uh... Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Oh. Ciao. That was an elaborate flashback. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular. Where can Agent Ray be? Why did he jump? That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Reyes did have a uh, empty tuna can on her. Spider, how you doing? If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. I, I, I didn't. Have to go all the way back around our way to town. There's outskirts. no path beyond this point. Find that? It just looks like unfinished temp part from a cut room. Okay, back to town, past the arcade. Arcade is locked. The, uh... <laughs> Bunny's salon out of business. Tube Town's still in business. We got a we got a tube there. Harder disappeared though. He's the one with the murder weapon. She got knocked out. She's also the one with the magic mushrooms. Unless we want to send um, send Ray down to get more. No, she's Ray. He's Reyes. We need to send. We could send Reyes down to get more magic mushrooms. Blowout puppy sale at PD's Pet Emporium. Cat Ostrophic clearance. I've been in the diner, right? No, we haven't been in the diner yet. I walked down here as Ray and did go in the diner. Looks fine to me. Talk to her. Welcome to the S&D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. Oh yeah, it's that diner. So, what can I do for you, honey? We are not ordering any of the food. Do you see the flies over the hot dogs? 
<laughs> What's up with the sheriff? Kind of weird Arino. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Arino. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. Maybe it was your food. Dadal, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Coroner and the sheriff appear to be. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Can't argue with that logic. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'm a federal agent. <laughs> know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. <laughs> then we're in another flashback, just Ransom like the Jerk that. was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Okay, lots of playable characters. Ransom the Clown. My circus poster, featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. <laughs> it's me, fuck face. Uh, Ransom the Beeping Clowns to Beep and Do list. Put on my clown nose, get my beeping joke book back. Get my clown fro looking beeping great. Apply my beeping awesome clown makeup. Go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. Yes, my life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. Ouch, that's tight. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. It says, need help playing. It's an IOU. I it's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. Or his joke book is. It's my lawyer's business card. It's my lawyer's business card. Yeah, I got card. that part. I, I Brent we... Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. There is nothing in his fridge. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. It's a prototype Ransom the clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. Why does the plate shift when he's walking left to right? You live on a seesaw? Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. My hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. 
Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. <laughs> Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. Right. I should have been a dentist. You. I can't reach that. Looks I'm fine to me. Stilts. Looks fine to me. Looks oh. fine to me. Uh, oh. Backstage entrance. Message coming in. Patching it through. Billy Nat, thank you for the host. Numbers in the phone book. What was his lawyer's name? It's my lawyer's business card. Wasn't that his lawyer Bailey we just ran into? Bailiwick. problems? We'll screw him for you. Brant I'm in the phone Bailiwick. Book. Swear jar list. Ransom's new swearing coaches. More, um... More contributors. It it's like. a list of all the <laughs> who swore here at the circus. I'm the only <laughs> who can swear. All the rest have to pay up. Hey, Lily, I'm good. Good, good. How about you? Game's a strange one. I have a clown nose, but I just look like a drunk. All right, you better put uh, your makeup my on then. It's a mess. And I'm not a clown without my white face makeup and red mouth. I run my own. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. Oh, I see. He doesn't do hats. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. I was on his to-do list. Pick up goddamn makeup, it said. Now there's the face I love. He'll need his joke book, but his joke book's being held. Go see Carney Joe about that. Go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. I look marvelous. Ready to knock them dead. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. I can't go on stage without my joke book. Oh. I might forget my best lines with... Carney Joe is. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd. We got prizes. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Ass white. <laughs> Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams and you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the seven kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the... The way we're gonna come up with that. Dough. I have a show to do. 
138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the ass white clown. To... Maybe it's in your hidden safe. He has a hidden safe. Maybe he has a hidden safe. Where the is my junk book? I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the ducky. Wish there was a way to Plus, click through dialogue. Thirty-eight dollars in be. interest. Where the am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. Thirty-eight bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. All right, we're looking for a hidden safe. Deep yo. Yo, I'm out of here. Shoot the birdie. Hidden safe. What do you think his hidden safe is? I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. Very cozy. mattress. <clears throat> Get 1,138 bucks for Carney Joe. 1138. Well, maybe we should call our lawyer. If he can come up with the money. Didn't find a phone book. Uh, oh, we did find a phone. We did find a phone. Didn't find a phone book. He didn't have a phone book in his trailer. It's already he? closed. Back in. Lily, I'm good. I'm really good. My mom's been visiting here. She was here for the eclipse. Poster over it's my sick lumpy circus safe. poster. It came off the wall. Where is the secret safe? It's my closed safe where I keep all my money. Walk to money. Good. How much money does he have? It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Well, damn. And put it back. All right, that's a thousand. It's a good start. We're gonna have to owe him the interest. Yeah, Lily, we're actually gonna end up. Um, I guaranteed to hit something. Hit the wall. We're gonna end uh, early tonight since my mom's leaving. We early got tomorrow. Prizes. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Give. 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 Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now, where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a $1,000 and you owe me 1138 including the interest. A good start. Yeah, I thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Oh, man. What surprises? <sighs> it's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. Or just got some. Whoa, look who it is. Hey, come back here, Pigeon Brother. Uh, the AC in my house. You said yours is toast. Mine craps out semi regularly. It can't really do the job that it needs to do. The house has poor circulation, not a great unit, and it ices up even though I've had it checked out. So the, the house AC just fails. And then you have to shut it off for like 12 hours for it to de-ice before you can use it again. So I ended up with a with a portable one too. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Looks fine to me. 
All right, well, whoa, where are we gonna get, um, oh, we're gonna have to break the swear jar. I can't open that. Take it. I'll just take the big bucks. All right. How much money it's do exactly we have? It's exactly $1,138. Damn. We just stole from the swear jar. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Me and my book, now, Carney my Joe. Joe book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now, scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Yeah, shoot the pussycat. It's my joke book. No spoilers here. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. <laughs> that show's coming up. How's his to-do list doing? He's got the joke book. Go on stage and insult the beep out of those idiots. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. <clears throat> you guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris is the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Do a tentacle man, on the back. Can't cure cancer or help the blind see. But oh man, look who else is there. At least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toilet Tron 3000. That Dr. Fred and Edna. Who else do you see here? Franklin's there, and Dolores. Green Tentacle. Kid with the crappy mustache, kid with the crappy wheelchair, lady with the huge nose. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. He's crying. Hey, you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. By the way, Lily, that's great news that you got admitted for the lessons you wanted. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you being just cursed. said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the uh -oh. end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. Uh-oh. What the? This makeup isn't coming off. You, old lady. 
you up the Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't Not just any old nose. lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. <laughs> Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, gritty little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned. <laughs> the toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. <laughs> what a horrible life for a curse. And that's why Ransom and Clown is such a creep. Woo! And you should go arrest him for murder. Gun attack. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. We'll go check up on Ransom, the clown. Agent I never Ray? beat. I never beat Simon's Agent quest. Agent can you hear me? Why would she be able to hear you? Ah, delicious! I can't wait to eat one. Hmm. I'll have one of these hot dogs. We, we were warned Good not choice, to eat honey. anything here. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. There's there's flies on the hot dogs eat there. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, you mm. just ate it. Mm. Oh. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling better? I feel better now. Good. All right. Uh, the tube was for the Pigeon Brothers, right? Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. His face is green, you may notice. Page and Brothers Plumbing, electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Go I wish I had a walkie-talkie so I could call Agent Ray. There's a radio at the station, but it didn't let us call her last time we checked. The bar's out of business. Hmm, too bad. A root beer would have been nice. A hitching post. Liquor, love, and awesome ribs. I'm good, too. Nickel News. Oh, my God. Copytron. Greetings, you, but... my excellent friend. What? What's up? File cabinet. Ransom fans fork out for record-breaking FCC fine. Horror author Merton Steele finds inspiration. These must contain journalistic gold. Or Greetings, old classified squad. ads. Or... I don't want to open it. Botulism scare at s and Diner, where we just ate. Health inspections cite hot dogs as source. Ugh. s and Diner attempts world record for biggest thimbleberry pie. It's, uh, it's a pretty new point and click. 
bought kind of like old LucasArts games. Deemed inedible. Kutenberg would be proud. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Aardvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Tell me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Nope. <laughs> Sigh, you shrug. Clark Kent? Hmm. Huh. You? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the 25th Amendment? Nope. That addresses succession to the presidency and establishes procedures for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president. Don't you mean the 20th Amendment? Nope. That changes the date on which the terms of the president, vice president, senators, and representatives begin and end. Don't you mean the Ninth Amendment? Civics lesson. No, that protects rights not enumerated in the Constitution. Don't you mean the Sixth Amendment? Nope, that protects the right to a fair and speedy public trial by jury, including the rights to be notified of the accusations, to right. confront the accuser, and to retain counsel. Don't you mean the Seventeenth Amendment? No, that establishes the direct election of the United States Senators by popular vote. <laughs> the civics lesson is awesome. Don't you mean the Eighth Amendment? Nope. That prohibits excessive fines and excessive bail, as well as cruel and unusual punishment. Not like people are learning this stuff in school anymore. We gotta learn it somewhere. Don't you mean the Nineteenth Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on sex. Don't you mean the Eighteenth Amendment? No. 
That prohibited the manufacturing or sale of alcohol within the United States, but repealed in 1933. That one was fun. Don't you mean the Third Amendment? Nope. That places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, prohibiting it during peacetime. Don't you mean the 27th Amendment? There is no 27th Amendment. Maybe someday in the far, far future. Don't you mean the 13th Amendment? Loop around it somewhere. No, that abolishes slavery and involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime. What do you know about the Kilo factory, factory fire? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena. Do you know what I mean? I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Oh, hell the no. The town's got a charm to it. It's been long enough. Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray. Oh. <laughs> Frank you too, game. Didn't occur to me I could switch to the character that got kidnapped. I think I'll go take a break now. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Right. Are you sure you don't want to eat those magic mushrooms now? Not tonight. Gotta stay focused. Um, it, it's 1987. Dude! Spoilers for the future! I will be right back. Let's, um, let's take a break. Her! I don't think it'll be too long a break. We're gonna, we're gonna do one more chunk of the stream. And, um, it'll probably be an hour or so. Uh, it'll probably be about an hour or so. So let me, let me pause here. Let's see. They said, no, you don't need to save. You can't fail in this game. They still give you 12 save slots. Uh, the entire discussion between the two. Yeah, context. Yeah, thumbs up for civics lessons. I will, um, I shall return. We will continue. Hear that and, uh, that. Y'all in a few, stay tuned. Wrong one, that one.